Well, let me tell you about a friend of mine who uh, lives in Calgary. <clears throat> Her name is Shannon Duke. And Shannon is 48 years old now. And uh, when she was 37, she was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer. The stage 4 meant that the cancer was already in her bones by the time it was diagnosed. At that time, she had two young children, age 1 and 3, and married to a well-to-do businessman. She herself was a very high-functioning executive for Microsoft in Calgary. And then she's diagnosed. She had the perfect life, perfect marriage, perfect home, of course. And then she's diagnosed. And healthy, physically, you know, fit. Always ate well. And then she's diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer. And she has a transformation. Now, she gets the best medical advice she can get anywhere in North America. And she traveled to New York and elsewhere. And she got the best medical treatment. And with that, she was given one year to live. Because that's the prognosis. Stage 4, despite the medical treatment, chances are you'll be dead in one year. Now, a year ago in February, just a year ago now, Shannon traveled to the Napa Valley of California with some of her friends, and they celebrated her 10th year survival and her 47th birthday. And the transformation that she experienced was that when she was diagnosed and started paying attention, she realized that her life had not been her life, because she was sexually abused as a child. And uh, her response to the abuse was, of course, as many children will experience, it can't be about the adults, it's about me. So if, I w if this terrible thing happened to me, I must be a very bad person. So I have to be very good to compensate. So the good daughter who doesn't talk about it, doesn't disturb the waters, the good employee, the good student, the good wife who doesn't talk about the husband's addiction issues, because that would, again, disturb the waters. And when she's diagnosed and she decides she wants to live, she says, the hell with all this perfection and goodness. And she confronts her family of origin about the abuse that she had endured. And she confronts her husband. And she starts leaving an authentic. And she leaves the job, by the way, which wasn't her. Wasn't really expressing who she was. Now, 11 years later, the cancer is still in her bones, but it's completely inactive. But she knows that if she wants to stay alive, she needs to stay authentic. So that I believe that many of these issues are reversible. <clears throat> I, I'm not promising a cure here to anybody. But Shannon really underwent uh, a major self-journey. And she continues every day to work at it. And she, she practices her spiritual uh, ways, which she ignored all those years. And she pays attention to herself. And she keeps clearing this stuff out. And she is the picture of health. Her and I give workshops together sometime. So that there's ways to get there, but it's a commitment. And of course, it might threaten the attachment relationships. So that's always your call. <laughs>